Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Basic Panda. I am Anshika Agrawal and in today's video we are going to see how we can activate GitHub Copilot extension in Visual Studio Code. Before we proceed with this video, I just wanted to make sure that you have two things already with you. First is a GitHub account. Second is a Visual Studio Code installed in your system. If you have both available, then we can go ahead and start with this video so that you can follow the same steps uh, which I am doing in this video. And if you think you will have that later, then also you can continue. But you would need these two things to get your extension activated in the Visual Studio Code. So let me open up the Visual Studio Code. So what you have to do is you have to just click onto this sign. and then it will ask you to sign in to use copilot so just click on to that button and then it will ask you to provide your github credentials so i have already did that so that's why it will it is asking me to continue and you have to just authorize visual studio code so just click on to that button and then it will ask you to open up the visual studio code so if you see it is getting the things ready it will take some seconds and yeah so copilot is ready to use in the visual studio code now you can make use of copilot and start uh, using it in your day to day life to develop your code easily faster and a quality code so i can just show you one example quickly uh, so let's say let's try to create a form so i'll ask copilot create um, employee registration Oh. Let's see what it does. So yeah, uh, Copala is saying that yes, your file is ready. You want to create it? I'll say yes. So I want you to use the same uh, folder and see, it has created a beautiful form in no way. I mean, in in quickly, it has created a form for me. And see, just by the name of the file. it has already created a form which contains first name last name email phone number department and the submit button so see i mean with the name itself it is trying to suggest to you that you know it might need first name last name now in case if you want to change anything or want to uh, want to do anything you can just hover onto that you can select it and again copilot with the help of copilot you can do anything I don't want to do more today uh, because this video is specifically on how you can activate your Copilot extension. But if you want me to create more videos where I can tell you, like uh, maybe where I can show you how you can make use of this Copilot. copilot in the visual studio code to make your code faster or to to do the code faster what are the controls that you can use uh, so just let me know in the comments and i will try to create one more video related to that so that's it for today but before i go i just wanted to make sure that i have already uploaded six videos and if you are interested uh, on more just let me know in in comments in any of my power pages video and i will try to create more videos i do have some articles on to the power pages on my website and i have mostly created the videos on reset the power pages how you can deploy the power pages using pack commands how you can reset and the basic things about the power pages so please make sure you check this if you are interested in power pages and yes i think that's it for today uh if you like my content please uh, like and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone